Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we're concluding the Pursuit of Cobra flashback week in honor of the What's on Joe Mind flashback episode. Remember how I've mentioned along the way when looking at Pursuit of Cobra figures that basically you get one of two things. New molds that are modern uptakes of vintage figures or reuses and retools from the 25th anniversary line that are um, just thrown in there. You also get as a third option um, new um, anniversary style figures but in a modern take like low light. But let's focus on that second group, those 25th anniversary reuses, like Crockmaster, fine figure. Well, Crockmaster um, had a friend with him, and it was this guy, Blowtorch. When this guy was announced in the 25th anniversary line, I was excited because I liked the character. I liked the way it looked. The execution of the figure was horrible. So what do they do? They bring him back. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get this right up, out of the way right off the bat. If you notice that uh, Blowtorch isn't facing forward or even on an angle like you would normally have to position um, figures on these G.I. Joe stands, that's because what the peg hole in his um, right leg has mold flash that was painted over. It's basically made that peg hole unusable. So let me just turn him this way. And you can see... Blowtorch. Now I gotta be honest with you. This is a, a nice looking figure. But unfortunately, the sculpt hinders everything that could be fun about this figure. You see how he's holding his blowtorch? That's about as good as it's gonna get. First of all, it came the whole the figure came holding it in his hand, which is basically stretch the plastic out or the plastic was molded like that either way the only thing this right hand can hold is that blowtorch which can be stored on the back right here peg it right in yeah that's kind of fun Now, if you own the 25th anniversary figure, you might be asking yourself, besides the accessories, what else is different? Well, all I can really tell you is, just going by memory, the yellow on this uh, uniform, or fire suit, whatever you want to call it, is a little brighter, and the red is a little darker. Um, but that's like, if you're really looking. This is, like, as I said, a nice looking figure. You have great textured uh, in padding in the body armor, the suit underneath. You have those sculpted folds and flaps that really make it look like it's a baggy, cumbersome um, suit. Which, by the way, this figure... Um, replicates the limited movability quite nicely. First, he has a single joint in the elbow that can barely go 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist, which is further back due to the gauntlet. Pin and socket joint, so you do have that full range of motion in the arms. Do you have a waist articulation and moderate ab crunch? Ball-jointed hips. Mine are a little loose, but can hold the pose. And um, double-jointed knees that basically only bend as far as about a single joint. And unlike Croc Viper, even though he does have an overlap, he does have forward and back ankle pivot with a side-to-side -side ankle rotation. There's no way you can get any type of realistic two-handed poses out of this guy. 
I should also mention that his helmet and face mask and what have you is all removable. Let me go ahead and unpeg it here for you. You can also unpeg it from his chest. There we go. And there's that handsome devil underneath. Straight up reeves to the head. Not too bad, but I really don't know how many times you'd have a flamethrower without his uh, mask on. Just wanted to give you guys a nice um, close-up look at his uh, flamethrower backpack. As you can see, there's the flamethrower, the tube that's attachable um, to the pack, and much like on the 25th anniversary one, this section is removable, has additional molded and controls that aren't painted. Um, really nothing much to it. I wanted to give you guys a quick look at a couple other accessories he comes with that I've never removed from the packaging because I really don't use it with him. Um, first, he comes with this axe, which is your, I guess your typical firefighter style axe, you know, for breaking things down. Second is a fire extinguisher with a peg in the back. Um, I assume it's meant to be able to peg it into his back, but um, I see no point as there's no way to peg it into the um, flamethrower pack, and, well, that's his main gimmick. And as you just saw me holding in my hands, he does come with a saw, I think it's called a saw, automatic assault rifle. This was first uh, seen, at least by me, with the um, Steel Brigade Troopers. I'm sure it's come with a couple other figures, but um, yeah, automatic weapons and flammable materials usually don't mix. Which brings me to the accessories I'm covering with my hand. Mines. These are two repainted mines. The originally came with the Pursuit of Cobra Firefly, and now they're with Blowtorch. Correct me if I'm wrong, but flammable materials and explosive devices do not mix. You know, I can just see Blowtorch on the field. Cobra's like, yeah, you know what? Let's leave that guy alone. He's got mines on his backpack with an automatic gun. He'll take care of himself. I just wanted to pose a blowtorch with that assault rifle just because I think it was funny. If you haven't figured it out yet, I cannot recommend buying this figure. Even if you don't have the 25th anniversary one, the lack of articulation and his inability to get any type of realistic um, two-handed poses with his included weapons, I just don't like him. I mean, I never had Blowtorch as, as a kid, which is why I was originally very excited to get him. My uh, flame trooper for G.I. Joe was Charbroil, and he came with a much nicer flamethrower that worked well. Um, interestingly enough, he, along with Crocmaster, were supposed to have two running variants that never saw the light of day. As I mentioned in the Crocmaster video, that was the Pyth he was going to get a Python Patrol makeover, and this guy was original was supposed to come all in green as an homage to his original prototype image from way back in the 1980s. If you see, though, if you see a green version of him, buy that because it's a collector's item. But if you don't, just stay away. Stay away. This is your old pal Chuck. For Blowtorch, we'll see you next time.